What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft for the PlayStation 4 and today we're gonna be continuing our farm touching up but it is getting a bit dark so maybe we should head to bed first but yeah we're gonna be sort of building out our farms up here we definitely want to sort of build up a good amount of space for the chickens and the pigs and the sheep that would be nice and awesome and I'm thinking that we'll have sort of a chamber for each one I think that's the best way to do it so maybe first what we should do is go get some wood and then go get the materials we need to attract those animals which we basically have the most of. I know that I did some studying and I double checked some comments that you guys left me because you guys leave awesome tips in the comment section below. But you guys let me know that what animals are attracted to what food. So, like sheep are attracted to, uh, oh no, now I'm forgetting wheat. They're attracted to wheat while chicken is attracted to seeds and pigs are attracted to vegetables like carrots and potatoes. Um, that's the last thing, like, like when I was checking, that's what I saw. So hopefully all of that is correct. And sooner or later we'll go back to the mine so that we can finally head into the nether. That thing has been staring us in the face for way too long. It's getting creepy and ominous and all that kind of stuff. But for right now, let's just uh, make our way. Actually, yeah, we do. Okay, I was gonna ask, do we have even enough? But yeah, we do. Ooh, and we already have a bunch of saplings waiting for us. One of these days we'll have to run through with all of our saplings and sort of replant some of the forest here. But for now, we're just gonna chill back a bit and chop down a few trees, not too many, just a few, just so that we can get started on making ourselves a good amount of fences and just a whole chamber that I have going on there. I'm gonna follow the same system I've done for all the other ones, where I have the fence like too high so that they don't jump out like they were before, because that was getting annoying. But last episode was a bit of a train wreck. Hopefully we can bounce back in the next episode or two. Luckily, we still haven't died yet in this series, so that's really awesome, really li liberating, I guess you could say. It's been a really fun experience, this Let's Play. I've been having so much fun, and you guys seem to have a lot of fun watching. Okay then, so uh, yeah, let's knock all this down right here. And uh, as I always like to do, I guess I'll just sort of sit back and talk about things while we chop down some trees. It has been an interesting start to the new year. It is now February. Um, <laughs> January went by so fast. You know, it's like times are flying, games are coming out left and right. And now that I'm back from MAGFest, I just sort of have to get ready for another convention. I have to get ready for PAX East, and I'm so excited for it. I'm really hoping that I meet a whole bunch of cool people and all that kind of stuff. All right, let's knock down this tree. And then I see another wolf over there. Maybe we'll soon get him. And like I said in, the la or in a few episodes ago, if you guys wanted to name the next dog that we get, feel free to leave your suggestions in the comment section below. I will be reading them and you know writing down my favorite ones. And of course, I'll credit you for it in some way or another. But yeah, <laughs> I love getting your guys' interaction and thoughts like that. So hopefully you guys come up with some good names. Let's quickly. Do this really quick. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. <laughs> Every time I pass this, I think about doing it. And I'm like, nah, I'll do it later. So let's just do it now. Break the cycle. Break the cycle indeed. There we go. Let me put that there. Replace this block. And then, will it work this time? Hey, it worked this time. I just, I guess I just wasn't doing it right before. I had to be facing the bottom block. I don't know why. I thought I was before, but it looks like all of our wheat is grown too. We're making some good progress with our house. I'm so proud of the little abode we've made. But um, this should be good enough now. So let's make a whole big old bunch of this by just holding down the X button. And we're gonna make the good majority of this into sticks. So let's do that. Oh boy. <laughs> Two stacks of sticks now, three stacks, come on. Oh, there we go. Um, Yeah, that'll be good for now. I really think that'll be fine. So let's make a whole big bunch of this out of the sticks. And that makes, ooh, okay. Uh, about a stack and a half worth. And let's make one fence. There we go. And now we should be good. Um, we only need two more of these. Maybe we'll just make one more for this episode because we really don't need, what is it, pigs? Because pigs drop food, but so do cows. So I'm not going to focus on pigs. I'm going to focus on um, the chicken and then the, um, the sheep because the sheep will be nice to have. Then maybe one day we can have a big range of horses, which would be really cool. Now, as many of you told me, I can actually ride a horse right now without a saddle, and that will actually make it like me, that'll tame it. But the problem with that is, is I don't have a saddle, so I wanna be able to ride it around anywhere. So until then, I'll leave the horses free. I'll let them roam free and be happy horses that they are. Here we go, let's uh, get rid of all this though. So I've been having a really cool set of ideas for stuff. I think that soon I wanna make sort of a fan art showcase um, for my channel. Basically, like, once every month, I'll make a little video showing off, like, the coolest comments of the month, or the, you know, the best fan art that people have sent in, because I've had a few cases where people send in fan art, or even make me, like, levels in Little Big Planet, 
and even some people have made like little memorials or I guess, I don't know if it's a memorial, but like a little tribute to me in Minecraft. And I think that's so stinking cool and I wanna show that stuff, that kind of stuff off to you guys. So I, I'm soon, hopefully sometime within February, I wanna make a series showing off that. And it'll sort of be like a zebra herd appreciation. Look at these guys mooing at me. Don't moo at me, moo at yourselves. All right, so how many spaces is this? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, hopefully I didn't miscount there. One, two, or that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And hopefully we won't have a bunch of lopsided uh, places here, or that would be awkward, but we have a whole bunch of fences, so this shouldn't be too big of a deal. And now this is pretty easy. All we have to do is make it match up from here. There we go. And there we go, hooray! And now we just gotta do it one more time on all sides. There we go. I think we got a good mojo going on, though. I, I Like I said, I'm really proud of how things have evolved these last, what has been, I think this is episode 22 now, and it's just like, wow, 22 episodes of Minecraft fun, and we've done something significant, or at least something at least relative to significance, in my opinion, in each and every episode. So it's been quite the adventure. It's been really stinking cool, and I keep misplacing blocks. There we go. Uh, now let's do this. There we go. And now let's run down here and do the same thing. Ooh, no, <laughs> messed it up again. There we go, at least the iron pickaxe, or not pickaxe, but axe is super duper helpful. Soon we can hopefully find more diamonds so that we can make like a uh, diamond weapons and stuff like that. Also, soon we have to find a dungeon. We haven't found a dungeon in this playthrough and I would like to change that soon. Um, I feel like the best way to change that is to, um, what's it called? Um, do the, like, I, when I was talking to Stealth in our Call of Minecraft series, he was talking about some sort of uh, redstone contraption that makes it so that you can see underground. And that sounds really cool. Um, I think that we might want to try that. I'm not sure if that counts as a glitch though. If you guys have any really like cool ideas on how, ooh, look at that parkour. <laughs> If you guys have any really cool ideas on how we could find some dungeons super fast, I would love to know and I would really appreciate it because I have no idea how we're going to look for one. I figure maybe we should just run around in caves and maybe that'll be our way, but who knows? I guess it's up to you guys to figure it out. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll join in in the fight. I'll do some research as well. But another, you know, another big goal of this series is to um, get the platinum trophy. Um, because I, I, I've only had one platinum trophy before on PlayStation, so it'd be cool to have more of them, especially on a really cool game like Minecraft. So hopefully we um, are able to do that. I know there are a lot of very difficult trophies that maybe I'll make like a little stream out of one of these days when we're getting really close to the platinum. And then maybe after that, I'll start like a season two of this Let's Play. Who knows? The, the, the possibilities of the future are really big right now. And it's really cool. Okay then, let's plug this up and then we'll be good to go for this. And then maybe we'll start attracting some animals in here, just so we can, you know, sort of get some progress on with that. I'm sure you guys don't wanna watch me building the same wood hut over and over again all stinking day. There are some things I do have to do off camera, and that is like reorganizing the chests and just sort of simple stuff like that. Let me know if you actually wanna see that kind of stuff. Like, do you want me to chop out boring bits like organizing the chest, or do you guys like seeing every moment of the game on camera? Cause I'd love to know like your, your guys' thoughts on that. Of course, I personally prefer to cut out the boring bits, but I mean, they're only boring to me. They might not be boring to you guys. Um, hmm. This looks good. It looks basically identical to all the other ones. Well, it looks literally identical to all the other ones, except for it's missing the animals. So let's go and do that. First of all, maybe we should go in here and get all the goods. <laughs> Ready for this? Oh, bread. Give it to me. Give it all to me. Fantastic. And we got a bunch of melons too. Soon we're gonna have to start expanding this farm and start um, putting down some, uh, what are they called? Oh no, I'm forgetting. <laughs> Carrots and potatoes. Why is that so hard to remember? I don't know. So can I actually, is there anything that breaks this faster than just punching it? I don't believe so. But yeah, that would be really cool though, is being able to uh, get some more farms in here. It feels like we are a little cluttered though. Like maybe we should expand this a little bit more so that we have the room. But of course, that's just all future talk. Um, now we just need the seeds, place these guys down and do what we do. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, our land, compared to a lot of my friends who play Minecraft, at least, our land is rather small, but I like it like that. It's quaint, it's simple, it's just, it's our little side of the forest, and I, and I like that a lot. It makes me feel at home, I guess. 
Cause that's sort of how I lived, I guess. I mean, I lived next to neighbors and things when I was growing up, but still it was like, in that part of New Jersey, it felt really secluded. And hello, Scruffy, how are you? You feeling good with your blue collar and everything? Cause I'm feeling great. And I'm glad that hopefully you're feeling good. And we do have another chest in here. Let me just eat this. I mean, like some of this doesn't really fill up our hunger at all. So maybe we wanna um, put some of this in here. But this is, I think this is our wood only chest. This is where we're gonna have our reservoir of wood. In here we do have some more melons. Might as well place those guys in there. Got a bunch of wheat and everything. We're gonna need a few pieces of wheat, not a ton. Let's just do that. Okay, actually a little more, a little more. <laughs> Don't wanna go cheap on it, there you go. And we do have some meat in here already. So it's like, it wouldn't be that much of a harm to uh, eat some right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, Kido, oh no, it's dark out, ah, ah, sleep, sleep it away. Wake up and the animals, or not the animals, the monsters will be gone, hopefully. Oh man, <laughs> spooky. But there we go, now it's daytime. And yeah, I'm ready to start herding some animals up. Let's first off make sure our cows are breeding. Let's um hopefully get in here without them causing a ruckus. You're causing a ruckus, sir. Stop causing a ruckus. I don't appreciate it. Hmm, maybe what we could do to get in there without it being a hassle, our little tactic will be to place a block down like this and then just walk over. Oh, oh will it let me? Maybe it won't. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, hey, sir, you guys don't do that, okay? And make you guys all happy and think. They're like, yeah, the wheat, I love it. Ooh, they're having a party now. <laughs> and all the baby cows just start coming out left and right. I love it, awesome. And there we go, we got three baby cows. Oh, adorable, adorable. Okay then, uh, and quickly, quickly, there we go, hooray! And our army is building. We are making an army and we'll take over the world! Not quite, but <laughs> hopefully we make some amazing advancements and we have plenty of resources. That would be nice and dandy. So now I'm hunting for a sheep. Hmm, sheeps. Where are you? It would be nice to have sheeps because wool's always awesome to make um, flooring and all that kind of stuff. And I know there is an achievement for getting every color of wool in your inventory or something similar like that. So it would be really awesome to see that. And I'll also double check, are pigs attracted to f the, the potatoes? Hey, Mr. Pig, I've got a, I've got a potato. You, you, you don't like this. Okay, I guess I was wrong with that. But there's a wolf over there. I do not have the resources to, um, attain him right now, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just trying to look for a sheep. Man, there isn't any around, is there? Did, uh, did we get a sheep ex instinction? Extinction? <laughs> that's a hard word to say sometimes. But here we go, here's a few sheep. Come with me, my friend. Don't go to that ravine over there, it is dangerous. Instead, you will want to follow me, because I have some nice amenities at the Zebra Gamer Hotel. <laughs> okay then, let's attract him over and then we'll see you then. Come with me, you wonderful sheep. We're more than halfway there. We're just like a final stretch. All the cows are begging for this wheat, but you had your share just a minute ago, you you selfish, you greedy. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, he did it. Good job, buddy. <laughs> and you stay in here and look pretty for a while because I gotta find you a friend. But we might wanna go and get some more wheat really quickly just so then you know, just in case I need to use this one, I guess. I don't know. I feel like just having one around is risky business, though, because we will need to use both of those to um, pair the sheep up. But after, you know, like, technically, after you have two sheep, you can just, you know, exponentially work from there because you just need to wait for the, you know, let them have a baby and then wait for that baby to grow up. And then I guess you can make those breed. I'm not really sure exactly how it works. But either way, let's go and find another sheep and see. There are a few sort of, um, places I did want to explore towards this jungle, like a few uh, caves and stuff that I definitely want to get to soon because they might have a good amount of goodies in them. Like like this stuff, like we haven't checked in there. So maybe soon we'll have an episode all about plundering some mines, hopefully finding some type of, uh, hey, it's a donkey, hello donkey. <laughs> finding some type of, um, what are they called again? Uh, the dungeons, that would be really cool. So this, the second sheep was like right next to this other sheep, so hopefully we can hunt that dude down and then we'll have another sheep. Oh man, that's deep. <laughs> that rhymed, cool. Anyways, let's uh, find this guy. Sheep, where'd you go? Sheep, I need to know so I can capture you. And I can make you do things for me. Like give me wool, but instead you make me look like a fool. Hey, here's one, okay. Hello, come with me. 
Up the mountain, not you. You, I don't need. Ah! <laughs> okay, then maybe we shouldn't make him go up. Maybe we should just distract him out of the water. He doesn't seem to be interested. Maybe he saw my bad sign there, and he's like, you know what, I don't want anything to do with this guy. Come on, sheep. Come on, sheep. Yeah, yeah, I'm over here. I'm over here, and it's nice and delicious. Come on. Come on up. Come on up. You can do it. Come on up. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, I wasn't ready for that. No. <laughs> I didn't know there was more water on the side. Oh, man, we gotta be quick. We gotta be quicker than this. Come on, come on, yes, no, yes. <laughs> there we go, now we gotta find our way back home. I know where we are though. It's quite familiar territory at this point though. And I love that about, I, I don't know, it's just like it always gets me so happy when I can recognize where I'm going in Minecraft because it means that we've found the place that we can consider home. Okay then, come on now. Hello wolf, please don't kill my sheep. Please don't. <laughs> All right, come on, you can do it. Go a little faster, go a little faster. Use those legs, burn that fat. Come on, this is a Zebra Gamer exercise facility. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're gonna make you the leanest, meanest sheep all around. You're gonna be so buff. You're never gonna skip leg day. And uh oh, more wolves. Come on now, I do not wanna have to kill a wolf because I don't want them to attack my sheep, but this is like the closest sheep in like a mile radius. I worked hard for this, it's mine. So I just gotta keep on attract them, attracting him over. It really is taking his time though, come on. Ooh, ooh, maybe over here. Yep, <laughs> this way. I think this is actually the same path I brought the other sheep through. Hey, 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 jerkwad. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Stop it, don't get back here. Like, I don't understand why sometimes they're just like, you know what, I'm gonna go. Goodbye, you, over here. And you, over here. Now that I've gotten both of your attention, come in here, have a good time. Come on, come on, you two. Mm, there we go. Now they'll get their kissy kissy goo goo on. I'm not gonna look. It's gross. And then I'm going to, uh, what, what should we do now? I guess I did see a cow around. There's another horse. Some pigs as well. I definitely want to get some chickens going on here, but <laughs> I haven't seen any chickens in a while. Hmm. Let's get rid of these pigs though. Like I said, the pigs only seem to drop meat, so they're not really that helpful because the cows drop meat too. And then they also drop um, some wool. I'm mean, not wool, but leather. And that's also helpful. Those, they just seem to be overall more helpful. But we need to find a chicken. So let's bring you over here. Come on, chicken pal. And he was relatively close to home. So hopefully this will be nice and easy. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Yes. Thank you, chicken. All right, you stay in there, you just stay beautiful. And now we just must find one more and then our animal journey is done for today. Cause they made a baby sheep, I think. Which is absolutely cute if they did. I don't know, the, oh, it looks like, yep, yeah, I see a tiny one in there. Excellent, <laughs> cool. Also another thing that we haven't really done is make an iron golem. Uh, that would be really cool because those things are super duper awesome. I think we have all the right materials for it too. Anyways, let's sort of like just use our railroad that we haven't touched in a long time for a moment here so that we can see what's going on in the world. Let me eat some potatoes because I need the hunger. This only revives a half a heart or a half a hunger, which is actually sort of lame. I think they'd be able to do a little bit better than this, but apparently not. But I did research that one block does actually mean one meter. So we will actually need 500 meters of railroad. So that's gonna be a very long project that maybe one day we'll dedicate an episode to. But for now, I feel like it's gonna be on a bit of a hiatus. Either way, it's getting dark out. So let's do one more uh, run around for that chicken. See if we can't find anyone. Mr. Chicken, where did you go? I must find out because I need to know. Okay then, I, I don't see him, I don't see him at all. So let us head to bed then. Ready, sl set, sleep. Ooh, you can only sleep at night. Let's, hurry up you dang moon, hurry up. Okay then it's morning again. We still don't see any chickens outside. I was hoping that sleeping maybe would like spawn in more animals. And it seems like it may have. There's a pig over here on top of this mountain that I don't think was there previously. You know, those horses weren't there before that were over here, but they were, I mean, they were here last night. But I mean, before that they spawned in rather recently. So I was hoping for another chicken, but I don't seem to find any right now. So I guess the search will continue for a few more minutes at the least. So away I go. Oh my gosh. It's a foal, look at the baby horse, hello baby horse. And <laughs> the chicken's over there taking a swim. Okay then, oh, he's so cute. Hello, don't stay near the cave, there might be bad guys in there. You're so small, I love it, hello. <laughs> awesome, okay, now we gotta get this chicken. Do not swim into the ocean, you don't even have any floaties. What if you get tired? Come back over here. 
I will not let you cl clamp, cramp up and then suddenly drown in the water. Not today. You're coming with me. Come on. Come on now. You can do it. I believe in you. Swim. <laughs> Another part of Zebra's workout facility. Swimming courses. It really does well for your upper body and your lower body. Come on. You can do it. Flap those wings. Do the doggy paddle. <laughs> there we go. Now hopefully he'll follow me back up to the house. Come on now. Yes, that was actually quite easy. So you two have some fun, make a baby chicken. And how can that be? Oh, it's so small. <laughs> I love the, like, hello little guy. <laughs> so cool. So there we go. We have some sheep in here. We have some chicken. We even have our many, many cows. Very awesome episode where we did a lot and we just had a good time while we got our sheep and cow and chicken army up <laughs> either way it's been a really fun time if you enjoyed the video please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your family and friends because the support truly does help grow the channel and make it a bigger and happier family not only that but comment in the comment section below what do you think about some of the wondrous things we did in this episode and make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below once again if you would like to name a new dog because we are in the search for more of them we still need to get three more for that achievement either way thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye